Hi guys, Captain Nick here with Marine Max in St. Pete and of course Captain Keith from Marine Max Clearwater. What's up guys? We're going to talk about something that is pretty simple and we are fortunate to have a really good well marked channel marker system in the United States. But it can be a little confusing. Everybody knows red right return but you know that can that can get confusing sometimes and I get that because sometimes you're returning one way and going the other way. Yep. So uh, we're just going to go over channel marker 101. We're going out of the channel here. We're outbound right now from a smaller body of water into a larger body of water, the intercoastal. And we've got our greens on our rights. We're thinking green, right, go. Um, you notice that the reds are always, always, always going to have your even numbers on them. And of course, that means that your greens are going to have odd numbers on them. Of course, there's going to be a lot of colorblind people. There's different ways to read the channel. Yep. Uh, Keith, what, what kind of pointers do you have? So Especially you, for the intercoastal. So your reds are always going to be triangles, the greens are squares, right? The sun's setting or rising behind them. You may not be able to make out the, the color, so you can always look at the shapes. And I don't know if, they, if it showed up on the video or not, but we just went through 11 and 12 back there behind us. And now in front of us, we're going to have markers number 9 and 10. All right? And the next set up there is going to be 7 and 8. So as you're leaving a channel, the numbers go in descending order. So the odd green ones are going to be on your right as you're heading out. The even red ones are going to be on your left. If you notice, these markers do not have any other symbols on them. There's not that yellow square, that yellow triangle we've talked about. We're heading out towards the intercoastal. We can kind of show you some of those. But once you have the yellow symbols on them, it's intercoastal waterway. And it's as simple as keeping the yellow triangles that are on the yellow on the red triangle markers to the continental USA land side. So it's an idle zone. We're gonna get on out of here. We'll catch back with up with you when we get out here in the intercoastal. Of course, you see all these signs out on the water. They're the white signs, orange around the border, and the orange circle. And those are some of the most important signs on the water. Keith, what does this one say? So slow speed minimum weight, great big letters. But we're real close to this channel marker, so it's real easy for us to read April 1st through October 31st, ICW, ICW channel included. Take the time to really read the fine print. Most of the time, you're going to see those great big slow speed minimum wakes. Down in that little fine print is going to be a little, dis, little uh, variation to it, so you can spend a lot of extra time on the water idling through somewhere where you can actually be running. So this is the back side of this marker. So as we're leaving this minimum wake zone, obviously it's resumed normal safe operation. So just take the time, look at the signs, get a pair of binoculars on your boat. All these counties are different. So Pinellas County, you get down into Manatee County, on down the coast, they're all different. So it, it does behoove you to, to get some binoculars and really read what's going on. Hope this saves you a little time on the water and or saves you a ticket by you actually <laughs> slowing down when you're supposed to. Pay attention to the minimum wake zone signs. They're there for a reason. And by the way, this is April 1st to October 31st because we're out here on the beach. Manatees are more apt to be out here in this warmer water this time of year. If you get over on the other side of Tampa Bay, let's say over by Apollo Beach yep. and where the power plants are, those are going to be slow speeds October 31st through March 30th. Yep. Right? Yeah, there you go, 30 days in March. Yeah. <laughs> no, 31. You, you March 31st. You guys check us on that. Anyway, so where the manatees are more likely to be congregated, that's when your manatee zones or the minimum wake zones are going to be enforced. And congested areas, of course, where the normal no wake zones are. So. Thank you guys for joining us. Hopefully you found this helpful. Of course, Marine Max is your one-stop shop for everything boating related, whether that's a marina, parts, service and of course sales so if you're looking to trade in a boat buy a boat give us a call we're all over the place up and down the eastern seaboard from new england to florida up and around texas and through the great lakes and hey if you're lucky enough you'll see captain keith standing out on a dock on delivery day and uh that's how you know you've really made it just come down to gulfport and see this guy that's it we're out see you on the water <laughs>